Jackson County joined a world education program this school year. Grady News Source reporter Jessica Green has more on the progress of the International Baccalaureate program at Jackson County Comprehensive High School. I have noticed that it is um, a good bit more rigorous. One thing that I was a little bit worried about when I started was the amount of work that it was going to be. 11th grader Michael Howard is taking six International Baccalaureate, or IB, classes this school year. The curriculum offers a student-centered approach to learning with a global focus. I'm actually going to be replica replicating a, um, a psychological experiment and being able to do it myself. The school was approved to join the World Education Program in October 2019. IB coordinator Michelle Golden says the program verification process took about six or seven years to complete. The first cohort of the IB program was introduced to the new curriculum in August amidst a global pandemic. It's a constant pivot. It's constantly like, okay, what's changed? What can we do this week? So we're able, because the IB did modify their exams this year though, to, to focus a little bit more on what we really need to cover. According to Golden, in addition to accommodations from the IB program, countywide in-person learning made the transition smoother in the fall. This semester, classes will alternate between remote and in-person instruction. IB film teacher Alex Nichols says right now his students are working on a comparative study in the form of a video essay to submit to the IB and hopefully earn college credit. I mean, it's complex and they're um, bringing their ideas. You know, I had a student talk to me about Marxist film theory today um, that he's gone off and researched on his own. Students who earn an IB diploma can use it to study at universities in other countries. The IB program in Jackson County is one of 36 programs in Georgia. Jessica Green, Grady News Source.